Hello guys, my name is Adhu AJ. Welcome to my channel AJ 3600. So in this video, I'm gonna show you top 8 item packages that a developer should need. So let's get started. So the first package is emit. Just go to your settings and I install and search for the package emit. And you can see the first result is the emit. So just click on it and click the install button. So this is the official website of the emit and you can see the emit package in the atom.io. Um, so once you have installed emit, you, uh, you have access to all the key bindings and all the functions of the emit package. So let me quickly show you some features of the emit. So I have a brand new file which is emit.html file and when you are creating a new HTML file you, you actually um, type all the code by yourself it just wastes a lot of time. So in emit we can just type HTML colon 5 and press the tab button and we can see a new startup tags so which contain the html tag head tag body tag and title meta tags and everything that we need so if you want to create a new div tag we can just type div and press tab and this will create a new div tab and if you want to nest some uh, input inside our form then we can just type form and a um, bracket and just type input and we want five inputs so multiply it by five and press tab you can see that we have the form and five input info uh, input text fields so image is not just for HTML but it also have function around CSS you can go to the image documentation and find out more functions of emit or just go go to its teach uh, cheat sheet and find whatever you need so the next important package which i'm going to discuss is the file icons so the file icons give a stylish icon to your files in the fuzzy finder tree view tabs or find and replace so we can go to our settings, install and search for file icons. And you can see the first one and just click uh, the install button and this will install the file icons to your atom. So once that's been installed you can see in a variety of icons in your area. Uh, uh, HTML or CSS or any kind of files so you can see here and even the icon will show in the tabs menu so you may think what's the use of file icons while developing so file icons gives an icon near your file which makes it more styly and we can identify the file type with the icon itself so the next package is highlight selected so from the name itself you can understand that if you select a word it will automatically find other words and just highlight it so we can just ins uh, install it just search highlight selected and you can see the first package and just click the install button so once that being installed go to any file you want and just double click on any word you want to highlight and you can see the other words to highlight so this is very useful when you are working on a large project and you want to see how many words or I want to check the spelling um, of something you can see the number of highlighted words down here so you can just manage by that so this will be useful for you in some way so it's very useful for me So the next package is Linder. So if you are a PHP developer then you should use Linder PHP. 
or if you are kind of any other developer you should find the package according to your language and try to install it so I am a PHP developer so I will definitely install PHP, linter PHP so what this does is that it just checks all the files and check whether if there is an error or not so this is very helpful while debugging and developing so by just installing the linter PHP is not enough we also need the official linter package so just type linter and search it and install this linter so once you have installed the linter package you will be asked to install the other dependencies of the linter package so there are a couple of linter uh, dependencies so I'll just click on yes for all the dependencies which they asked to install <coughs> so I have now installed all the linter dependencies so for testing it we have to go to our dot php file and I have some little code written here so I will just uh, remove this and you can see an error so it's uh, the description is index error unexpected comma so we can just easily find the error and fix it so linda is a very useful package while you are developing so the next is atom material so atom material is not a package it's a theme for our atom so it's one of the best atom theme which is available now so for installing it go to your uh, settings and here instead of searching in the packages just click on the themes and type the package name and search it so when you search atom material you can see the atom material UI and just click the install button so now we want another package which is atom material syntax for styling our um, codes so install the second package which, uh, which is available right here just click on it and click the install button so once both of them are installed successfully we can go to our themes tab and under the UI theme change the one dog to atom material so it will change in instantly and under the syntax theme change it to atom material and that's good now if you open any HTML or any kind of file we can see a slight change in the code uh, style uh, and we can see a fresh new look to our atom so the next package is pigments so we can install it by just searching pigments and the first package you see it just click the install button and this will install so normally before installing uh, pigments if you go to some kind of style.css files and we have some background color or color stuffs um, we can uh, we have to give the color so in order to check whether the color is correct or not we need to just go to the original page and reload or do something uh, to check whether the color that we entered is correct or not but if we have the pigments installed we can see the colors just got highlighted so this is very useful package while you are uh, styling your website and you need to give uh, to check whether you have given the correct color or uh, it matches some other color so if I change this color to something like white uh, it will show it instantly so the next package is minimap so we can just install it so minimap is uh, a preview of the full source code in a miniature form so once you have installed it uh, and open any kind of file you can see at the right side you can see the minimap 
so it's a very useful thing while you are working on a very large files uh, like this so you can see the full source code and easily scroll down so you can see that there are a couple of other things which we can do on the minimap so something like the minimap highlighted highlight selected uh, find and replace minimal pigments and a lot of stuff like that if you want you can go and install it you are free to do so so the next package is terminal so I have chosen the platform IO IDE terminal so it's one of the best terminal which is available in Atom so we can just go and install it so once you have installed it you can open the terminal by clicking the plus sign at the bottom left corner so you can see a terminal window pop up so it's a very useful package while you are uh, you are a framework developer and you need to input some codes uh, for a quick reason and cannot open the CMD or your CMD is busy doing in some other stuff so this is a quite good choice and you can also hide and create as many as terminal as you want so there are a lot of settings for this package you can just give a um, auto run command which will will be run each time you open the terminal <coughs> and there are much more in this package so this is this was the last package that I have to show you guys so thank you for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel you can always give me feedback and contact me through any kind of social media which i am in so thank you guys